Peace be with you all. I'm gonna ask you a very important question. Do you know who God is? And when you ask this question to many so-called Christians, their response will be, Yes, yes, I know the Lord. Do you truly have a relationship with Him? Do you truly put Him as your number one? Do you truly put Him as your number one in your life? Have you given your life fully to Christ? Have you repented fully of all your sins? I want to let you know that there is a Savior. A Savior. That He came to the world to die for our sins. He was the atonement for our sins. And he was killed in the place for us. And when he died on that cross, he said, it is finished. Three days later, he rose from the grave. And he is the savior. That if you run to him, if you repent of all your sins and leave the world and come fully 100% to God, he will save you. For in Romans 6, verse 23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. And Christ made the way for us. And Christ made the way for us to receive eternal life. Christ made the way for us to be forgiven. Christ made the way for us to be transformed and renewed by the Holy Spirit. And when a Christian repents of their sins and starts walking in the path of the Lord that step by step that the, the Holy Spirit guides them teaches them help them helps them in the deepest tribulations the Holy Spirit starts giving them the starts giving them the knowledge of the truth the truth the gospel the good news I want to let you know to escape the wrath to come and receive eternal life through Jesus Christ. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is near. Matthew chapter 3 verse 2. And God sent his son to the world for us. For John 3 16 says. For God so loved the world that he gave his only and beloved son. That whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. If you truly believe this with all your heart. Run to Christ. Flee from the world and run to Jesus Christ. Ark that weathered the deluge, that was Christ. The ram caught in the thicket by its horns, that was Christ. The temple and its sacrifices, that was Christ. He is the seed of Abraham and one greater than Moses and Joshua. When I read of Samson ripping up the gates of that city and throwing them down, I see Christ ripping up the gates of hell and throwing them down like they were the tiniest feather on the smallest fowl. Sometimes the only thing that will ever keep you going is that he has risen. He has risen indeed. He has risen indeed. Your sins are gone. He has risen indeed. The world has a savior. He has risen indeed. The universe has a king. God bless each one of you. And remember, Jesus loves you.